Sometimes people ask me, what is a math book for complete beginners? If you know pretty much no mathematics, where can you start? And this book is a really good example of a modern textbook that you can buy that's quite affordable, that teaches you math from the very, very beginning. This book is actually targeted towards middle school students. It says, the complete middle school study guide. Everything you need to ace math in one big fat notebook. So don't let the gimmicky title you know, turn you off. This is a great book. It's published by Workman Publishing. They publish other books on math and science and other subjects for people who go to school who want to learn those subjects. But you can use this book for self-study. It's really intended for that purpose. Let me show you some of the contents and you'll see that it really, really starts from the beginning. So it starts with numbers, the number system, types of numbers and the number line, positive and negative numbers, absolute value, factors and greatest common factor, multiples and least common multiples, so really basic stuff. Then ratios, proportions, and percents, expressions and equations, let's turn the page, Geometry, so it also has geometry in it, so maybe your geometry is rusty. This is a nice way to bring it back up to speed. It even has statistics and probability, and then the coordinate plane and functions. Let me just show you how it starts really quickly so you can see how basic it actually is. There are many different types of numbers with different names. Here are the types of numbers used most often. It talks about the whole numbers, the natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers. And it's a fun book. You know, it's a really fun book because it just has fun stuff in it. You know, the typesetting, I mean, <laughs> still going, right? Really, really fun. It also has exercises. And then when you do the exercises, you can turn the page and you get the answers, right? It gives you the answers. So perfect for someone who has been out of school for a long time and just doesn't know a lot of math. Now, if you already know some math, then this is probably not the book for you. Now, I'm not saying that you can't learn from this book. I mean, it does have a lot of topics. It has some statistics and probability. It's got some geometry. So this book probably has something you don't know, but if you already know, you know some math, then it's probably not worth getting this book. I bought this book because I collect math books and I try to have at least one copy of every math book out there. And there's a lot of math books. That's why I have so many books because I collect them. I want to have all of them, old ones, new ones, uh, different editions. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty serious collector. Let's look at some of the sections in this book so you can see what it's like. Here it talks about expressions. In math, an expression is a mathematical phrase that contains numbers. Variables, letters or symbols used in place of a quantity we don't know yet, and or operators such as plus and minus. So here we see examples, x plus 5, 3m minus 2, a over negative b, 44k, 59 plus negative 3. Sometimes an expression allows us to do calculations to find out what quantity the variable is. And then here it gives you an example so you can learn. And it's an interesting book. I always wonder, like, who wrote this book? because it's published by Workman Publishing, but like no author is given. I'm assuming it's like a team of people that work on this book. Um, it's just really well done and it's really fun. Another thing about this book I should mention, and this is true for all of the books published by Workman Publishing, at least the ones I have, I have almost all of them, is that it's a soft cover, but it's a weird type of soft cover, like the material, it's not like the regular soft covers. It just seems like it's almost like a hard plastic, but it's bendable, which I guess is intentional because it is intended for middle school students. And so I guess the, you know, the stereotype is, oh, you know, kids you know, will be kids. Maybe people will throw the book around. I haven't tested <laughs> the quality of the book. I have not decided to take this book or any of my other books published by this company. And I haven't, you know, thrown them around and tested them, but it feels like it feels like it would hold up really, really well to some abuse. Here's the back of the book. It says, from the editors of BrainQuest, America's number one educational bestseller, 
The big fat notebook makes all the stuff you learn in school sink in. Yeah. Yeah, so it's intended to, you know, help you do better in school. I'm looking at this from a self-study perspective. You know, maybe you're an adult and you didn't finish high school or you barely even went to high school or you just forgot everything. You can get a book like this one and you can get started with mathematics right away from the very beginning. At the same time, if you if you already know some math, then there's better choices, right? There's you can get an actual textbook. For example, if you already know some math and you're looking to jump into calculus, you'd probably be better off getting like a college algebra textbook, uh, like the one uh, by Blitz or College Algebra Essentials, which is an actual college level textbook that has considerable more math than this. This is perfect for someone again who just doesn't know doesn't know a lot of math. Here's an example. Compare negative one half and negative one third. The LCM, that's called the least common multiple of two and three is six. Cool. And then so you basically write them with the same denominator and then you can compare them like this on a number line. Pretty cool, right? So it shows you stuff that you know you might not know even if you if you think you know math. And as always, I will, uh, I'll try to leave a link. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description of this video so you can check it out if you want to. It shouldn't be too expensive. Uh, that's another thing about these books. All of these books by um, this company, they're all really inexpensive. Like if you compare the price of this uh, to the price of a textbook, it's, it's ridiculous, right? This is so much cheaper than an actual textbook. But, you know, it's not the same. Not the same. This is interesting because I was uh, I was doing uh, some math for um, my other YouTube channel, Epic Algebra. I have another channel. It's called Epic Algebra, where I just post like algebra content and like really basic math content and some harder stuff too, just a mix. It's just everything algebra, called Epic Algebra. And I was looking at uh, something with trapezoids earlier today, and so I opened the book, and then here's <laughs> here's the formula. Uh, for the area of a trapezoid. So they're giving you a picture. Here, here's your trapezoid. And you have the different bases, right? So um, there's one base, there's another base, four and eight. And so you see, you plug them into the formula here. And then H is the height. So you plug it in, four plus eight is 12. 12 over two is six. Six times three is 18. They even put the units, right? Area is squared units. So they're even being good uh, about that. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's cool. A protractor. It's been a long time since I've seen one of those. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. I just got to give it a whiff. One second. It's just... Oh, yeah, it smells good. It's got that new book smell. But yeah, very happy with my with my purchase. It's very inexpensive. Um, that's one reason I bought it. I usually don't buy all new books because some new books are very expensive. Like, you know, you get a new edition of like you know, some textbooks and they cost hundreds of dollars. Not the case with this one. It's it's really not that much. I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. But again, this is for absolute beginners. You see what's included. I just wanted to make a video for beginners because people have uh, been leaving comments about, you know, hey, you should make a book for, you know, beginners. Like, what's a good beginner book for someone who just, like, doesn't know any math? And I think this is a good book for someone who just really doesn't know a lot of mathematics. Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, good luck take care.